Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about doing it over. Um, what I want to say to you is since October of 2022, particularly for women, pay attention to this. Things are transiting for you really swiftly. What that actually means is it's almost like being picked up and toted along and moved along and shoved along and pushed and prodded and poked along. And it gets kind of like weird to your mind to understand it. However, there's something to know. It serves a purpose. And many people have the sense that they're leaving something. They're confused and sometimes regretful. They have regrets. They feel a little bit like somehow instead of standing on a magic carpet being magically transported up into their love the magic carpet did this and they're sort of treading water do you feel like this sometimes do you feel like all you can do is just tread water and you wish you could do a few things over like maybe you met the wrong person maybe you're questioning who you've met you're questioning who they are to you maybe you are wondering about an old relationship you know really old relationship or marriage maybe you regret having kids maybe you regret not having kids maybe you have regrets i'm gonna just kill it here maybe you have regrets about being incarnated as a woman and think oh i would have it easy if i was a man or maybe you think to yourself if you're a man maybe it would be easier if i was a woman after all all they have to do is marry someone do you find yourself wishing that you could do things over? Now, there's something of a kernel of truth in that that you're asking for. Not only that, did you ask for a new body? How many people wish that they could have a brand new body, right? A body that, you know, it's not going to blow a gasket like your ancestors, like grandma had or your great grandparents or something. If you wish that you had like that gene that didn't develop into like a full-blown addiction, are you the person in your family who is like the front runner in this? Well, maybe you don't think about it that way, but I'm telling you, start thinking about it that way. Maybe you're going first. Maybe you are a leader in more ways than you even realize. Maybe you get to have a do-over. Now, you still have a life here. You have a life to finish out. You have responsibilities or you will take on responsibilities. You have an accountability for why you're here, okay? Why do we exist? We exist to live. We exist to thrive and lead and change, okay? Not everyone is aware of all this stuff that a journey or a healing journey incorporates, right? And the thing about any journey is Sometimes there's an, there's an ending, but there's a new beginning right there. So when it comes to doing over, we're talking about the past. Now, when you're a kid, you can simply go do over, do over, and you like resume the game and then you do some things differently. What if you were able to do this at a level that only your light body can access? What would you regret or what is the one thing you would change about your backstory? What is the one thing that you feel like as soon as you try to take off, it's tethering you back down to the earth? What is the thing that you feel that you're facing in your life that you might know runs in your family? What are the financial hindrances you have? Do you Are there deep-seated fears there or a phobia? Is there something that you genuinely feel and sense is blocking you and, and needing to heal? Now, we're going to get into it in a class that I'm offering, okay? I want to say something to you about regret, and I want you to just use this as a reminder to yourself. Please don't beat yourself up. It is normal to regret things. It's normal to sometimes regret something as simple as cutting someone off in traffic. Or you say a snide word to someone and then you feel bad for yourself. Or you regret not investing in the stock market when your gut told you to. Or you regret not 
you know, getting legal advice when you should have, or you regret not going sooner to the doctor to try and nip something in the bud. Okay. We all have regrets. We all have them. Okay. The reason I tell you, please don't beat yourself up is there is trial and error. And this is always how we've learned at sometimes even at your worst moment, you can take that as a lesson, but you can also set a boundary. And that boundary is going to say, you know what? I'm never making that mistake again. I have done this several times in my life. And you know what I've come up with? Self-preservation. I am never ever going to let someone destroy me ever again. And you know what happens? All the memories I have stored in my Akashic records come down to warn me and my light body deflects and essentially moves those people out of my path. Now, it wasn't always like that. I was always, uh, let's say, a magnet for troublemakers, or I would view people who like to rile things as being exciting. And instead, it was traumatic and chaotic. Okay, it took me a long time to overcome that kind of like being sucked into things, even though I have a fairly strong personality. But even the best people can get caught up in it. What do you do when these are like worldwide things, you know, like some of the leaders we see? How do you lead your own life and not be affected by the things that they're doing? And instead, have your higher self bring you into a level where you're making the right decisions because you're feeling it in your heart, where you are not giving in to like the lists of like, you know, if if you meet this man and he does this, it means that and when every single alarm bell inside you is going off saying, run like the wind, run for the hills, get the hell away from this person. And part of you is saying, well, I'll just give a chance. Well, maybe I should give a chance to just date. After all, you have to like, you know, party with the fish, with all the fish in the sea, because there's plenty of fish. B.S. Baloney. <laughs> You don't have to. You don't have to go through people to get where you're going. In fact, those people will delay you, okay? They're at best a distraction. You don't have to regret engaging in those kind of relationships. I'm also a firm believer in not just giving gratitude, but having takeaways. What have you learned, okay? Even if what you're learning is the equivalent of like, don't touch the stove, it's hot, don't touch the stove. People like me have to touch the stove to actually see what you're talking about. That took me a really long time to stop being that kid, to stop, you know, being like, what do they mean don't jump in? What do they mean don't touch this? I'm a very, you know, person that likes to gain the experience by actual immersion. Touch it, feel it, smell it, taste it all kinds of things, right? You know, I go to a fabric store and I'm feeling, oh, this this feels like polyester. This feels like fur. This is like the softest cotton. The bamboo kind of feels like cotton, right? Very tactile. That is how we are. The angelic side of us is a tactile, sensual being. The human side of us sometimes has these, you know, mindsets of like, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I'll regret it. Maybe I should regret it. I have all these regrets, right? That's your ego mind. When you get into the other part of yourself, when you're starting to engage your light body, you expand so much more and it becomes a much more delightful experience. Not only that, you don't feel um, the negativity of things like regret. You almost feel like, well, I I suppose that was supposed to happen. Short of it being really negative or hurtful or harmful, you'll, you know, gain what you need and move along very swiftly, okay? Sometimes people linger in these things. They'll mull it around. Their head will write a script. Their head will play out, you know, a dozen permutation of I should have did this. I should have did that. Should have did that. Working with your light body helps you bring instant acceptance to whatever has happened, It's much more instantaneous, it is healthier, and even better, helps you shift very swiftly and doesn't doesn't leave you in that low vibe or that victim mentality 
or the lack mentality or depression mentality or pack mentality, whatever you feel and whatever you may experience. Now, these are just some of the things that come from exploring your past, exploring your past lives. Who have you been? What happened that altered your trajectory? What is it you can avoid now? What is it that you don't have to regret because you're literally the water that flows around these obstacles? What are the things that you would really like to see in your life? Because there's no point in exploring the past and you know making transformative work unless you can actually improve your future, okay? So past, present, future takes on a whole new meaning. I hope that you'll join us. I hope that you'll see that this is something that is very useful as a way, a way to utilize your brand new chakras, your brand new light bodies, your brand new blueprint for living and relationship and love connections. How many people really know beyond the shadow of a doubt that they have had past lives with their true twin flame? How many? A lot of people don't understand how much garbage he has to clear because you can't have a new house with all the clutter laying around, right? You have to clear that garbage out. You can't improve or remodel anything. You don't want to take garbage and gum wrappers and spoiled food into your new space. So this is why I'm saying, you know, we address this in a way that actually helps your light body expedite it, make it more efficient, make it user-friendly and give you a delightful experience of it. And not only that, if you need to see something and you, you're you getting the picture that speaks a thousand words, there are very few things that will do that for you except engaging those parts of you. So I hope that you'll join us. Please see the links below. Please reach out to me for questions. Yes, I also do sessions. Yes, I have a separate one-on-one -on -one session for this stuff. And if it's deep issues of the psyche, I have a session for that. Things that involve phobias, things that involve deep traumas, um, being attacked in any way, shape, or form, all kinds of things. There's, I have a list there. If you find that this is really affecting your emotional health, your mental health, your state of being, please get the help that is here for it. I've done thousands of sessions, probably 15,000 and counting, and this is what I'm gifted in. And going forward, this is a new thing, and yet the help is here. We do this in harmony and in conjunction with any other type of help that you're receiving. You know, like if you're getting some therapy, your light body doesn't want you to be on meds. Your light body doesn't require you to use plant medicine to address this. That's something that's being touted out there. Quite frankly, it's not safe for everyone. Even if people have gotten results, those are plants of the earth and it will be for earthly things. It's not going to get you where you're going, okay? And I've got to say it because I've seen a lot of people think that they're pulling stuff out only to put be putting toxins in, okay? So that's something that I'll say um, this is something that is coming into vogue and some of it, you know, still does have uh, an effect that is negative on people. It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. It tends to work with certain types of people. And even that can become kind of a thing that people think they need to keep doing instead of learning their light body. So this is why I'd like to emphasize it. Your light body is the thing that triggers your feel-good hormones. Feel-good hormones like endorphins, serotonin, um, oxytocin, all of these things. They're, they are so critically important for your mental and emotional health and generally your state of being on a daily basis. So that should you have a regret, you're not going to feel suicidal over it. You're not going to feel like you're despairing and into doldrums. You're going to feel what you need to feel and your natural confidence, it's going to be like nothing can submerge you. You're going to keep popping up and popping up. That's what your light body does for you. 
It's not going to send you go seeking, you know, some plant stuff or, you know, uh, alcohol or something like that. In fact, quite the opposite, because your higher self doesn't really need you to use that stuff. It needs you to use your light body and the real brand new connections. Thanks so much. Again, you know, I'm going to just say this. Please take this because you're going to start seeing people um, really need to engage their light body. Okay. Get a jump on it. A lot of changes are happening in the year of 2023. Hope to see you there. Reach out if you have questions. Okay. We do answer live questions in the three-part class. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.